Welcome to the Homeschool Together podcast. Where one working mom and a stay-at-home dad help you navigate the nuts and bolts of the growing and dynamic world of homeschooling. With a focus on early learners. Like me! All the ins and outs of building and maintaining your homeschool life. Homeschool! Find out tips and tricks to make things like this easier. I'm reading! And ultimately, enjoy educating your kids. And what's that last thing? Have fun together! Did I do good, Daddy? (laughs) Yeah, you did, sweetie. Good job. Hello and welcome to Homeschool Together Short Bite Edition. As promised, today we're going to be talking about the Game School Co-op Summer Game Schooling Extravaganza. (laughs) I was thinking it would be more like a chill vibe, but okay. (laughs) I know you're sitting there and you're eagerly awaiting the UFO declassification document like I am. And you're wondering, (laughs) outside of, you know teaching my children how to learn and come to grips with the fact there are other aliens and the you know trust oh my goodness we are what veering. else what else are you going to do well i know what you can do you can do the game schooling co-op summer summer research extravaganza <laughs> <laughs> i'm not sure I, I might have to vote him off my game school summer island <laughs> i have made one man in florida very happy <laughs> I don't know. That would be Ryan, who runs the Game Schooling Co-op. Listen, listen, all kidding aside about he's UFOs. Gonna take, he's going to take that sound bite and just like loop it over and over oh and over Oh my again. goodness. It's going to be the, all right. He's going to run Facebook ads with just that. Listen, listen. <laughs> We're going to get back on topic here. All right. So we've talked a little bit about being a part of the Game School Co-op. It is an amazing group of content creators that are all working to advance gaming as part of education, whether it's for homeschoolers like we are or in schools. We have a gal who's running a board game cafe in Nigeria, which she's doing some amazing work. We have some people in Asia. Um so we have a lot of creators here. Most of them are here in the U.S. People are doing some some really cool stuff. We have a, a psychologist who helps um, working with uh, and talks about how how games uh, affect the brain. And uh, so he's got some just really great content too. Uh, Board Game Babies, which you've heard from on our podcast. We're going to have all of, hopefully all of the Game School Co-op members on the show eventually to do interviews. But for now, know that it's an amazing group of people. Uh, If you go to gameschoolcoop.com, you can check out everybody. And the big initiative is Game School Summer. So Game School Summer, the whole idea of it is whether you homeschool or public school or or anything else, um, that you use games this summer to, you know, play, take a, a day or two a week and just play games and enjoy what they have to offer and find the rich, uh, educational opportunities that are provided in games. You know, if you listen to our podcast, we're big game people. Um, even if you're not a big game person, the idea is play, play with your kids and really see if you can find uh, educational opportunities because they're in nearly every game uh, and the co-op has some amazing resources. So we'll run down here and and talk about all the things we have to offer for game school summer. So gameschoolcoop.com slash summer. Link will be in the, sh- in the, in the show notes yeah. below. And um, so let's, let's talk about what we got. I, I'm not allowed to talk anymore because I, I I've spent my wad of coolness. <laughs> I, I, yeah, well, I don't know. I'm worried. You're kind of you're, you're kind of going going rogue on me here. So I'm it's not be- really sure what you're gonna say. It's because I'm melting in this chair. It's like 80 degrees in this house. Yeah, it's um, getting late. So let's talk a little bit about what's in there. So game schooling resources. Obviously, we have all these different creators, but on this page that um, the game schooling co-op has set up, there are. I mean, I really encourage you to go to the link. Just check it out. Even if you're like, oh, I don't know if I want to do this, check it out and see. All of the resources. And they're all free. So there's there's tons of cool stuff. This is really meant to just, you know, kind of get your feet into it. Um, If you like to play games, you've heard this term game schooling before and you don't really know what it's about, head down over to that that link and you just just read top to bottom. Ryan's done a great job putting a ton of effort here. Enormous amounts of links, very nicely organized. And I think it would you'll find something in here that you might want to do. 
So yeah, definitely. So we have there's a game tracker so that you can color in every time your kids play a game, they can color that in. So free coloring page. There's a make your own logo. So we've got a, a cool chess piece logo for our game school co-op and this is about what would their game school logo be mm-hmm. um there's uh, some great list of all these summer themed board games that uh, you can get or if you have them in your collection they'd be good to play there's also a neat certificate of completion for your kids at the end of summer if they're able to play a game each week or you know you can set the cadence that you prefer then you get to fill out this cool certificate for them. And, and we have been confirmed that Harvard and Yale are replacing the SAT for the game schooling co-op certificate. 100%. What would I do without your dad jokes? What would I do? <sighs> My children would have, have a fruitful list life. They would not know the joys. It's one of those things when you start talking, I'm like, is it going to be a thing <laughs> is or this, is it going to be a bit? Is, this, is, <laughs> is it going to be real? Is it going to be a bit? <laughs> this, <laughs> Ariel's like, all I see is that scene from Jurassic Park where he walks up to the giant pile of crap and goes, that's one big pile of my husband. (laughs) (laughs) Got me with that one. Occasionally, your bits land. Occasionally, you get me, guys. Guys, we all know about the Ariel view (laughs) joke. No, let's not tell it again. Yeah, but they all know about my... If they've been listening, they know. I won you with puns. And <laughs> so, so now this has been 16 years. You've got to keep living up to the the puns that I was sold. The original bill of goods I'm I was like a, sold. I'm like a, I'm like a really good, you know. I'm not even a fly fisherman. I'm a I'm a tenkara fly fisherman. No, no real. I just got the line, and I just I just get you with the puns. It's late. It's late, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about all of this. All right. I'm sorry to all our game school co-op members that are listening to this. Um, I can't believe he, she has to deal with that idiot all the time. <laughs> no, it's not what I meant. That man is educating their children. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. So the next thing on this, let's back to this super cool page. We've got all these really great meeple badges. So uh, the concept is like video games, you unlock achievements and this is same thing where you can check off, um, oh, I, I won a game, I played a cooperative game, uh, all these different, um, like different level achievements that you can try to Experiencing different types of games. Because we, you know, a lot of people just think oh, games are games, but, you know, people who are really into games and game schooling, we understand that there are classes of games that are, have certain types of mechanics, whether it's mm-hmm. like a roll and write or, you know, a drafting game or, or similar things like that. And these are ways to do that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's one of them. Like play a cooperative, play a game on the floor, play a game outside, ah. play a game from your mom and dad played growing up. I mean, there's just a whole <laughs> bunch of different ones cool. and there's meeple badges for different ages. So there's a few of those. They're really fun and kind of just, just add another element of excitement to playing games. Um, the other thing is there are... Uh, lots of coloring pages on the coloring note there's lots of different fun things if your kids like to do art stuff so there's those and then there are puzzles so there's regular puzzles there's word searches there's a ton the best part i think about the page i really do like the meeple badges so i'm pretty fine of that Mm -hmm. but I think the greatest thing here is this is a terrific collection of free print and play games. Print and play games are excellent. Mm-hmm. If you've never done a print and play game, it's basically just the digital files. You'll print it out. Sometimes it'll have cards that you'll have to cut out, uh, sometimes not. And usually you'll have to bring your own physical components. So you might have to bring some dice to it mm-hmm. or um, some sort of player markers. Usually the the items that you have to bring to a print and play game are pretty minimal. I mean, they know that you've got to scrounge these items, usually from other games, honestly, is where we usually get them from. Um, but uh, these are all free files. And they have all got different themes, and why, why not give them a, ch- a chance? We love to print them out. We laminate them, so that, and then we use um, dry erase or wet erase. Actually, we found wet erase markers work a little bit better mm-hmm. on laminated sheets. Uh, but these are free, and they're all here. And there's just some great things. Um, they're they're really easy to transport as well. Like if you're going on a oh, trip yeah. or something, you could just slide, you know, a bunch of in essence printed sheets into a, a little binder, and then you can take five or six games with you and bag of dice and 
Right. You're yeah. And you go. don't have to worry about taking your nice games on a road trip. There's all kinds of different uh, themes. There's there's one's bees. There's a Jurassico. Jurassico. One. I think we, we've talked about we that. We really like yeah. Jurassico. We use our quick dice for it. Um, there's a cat sudoku. Uh, there's a couple other ones, a food chain ones. There's and all kinds of different. And what's really nice is that Orion's put the ages there as well. So if you're looking mm-hmm. for, you know, say, hey, I got a nine year old, I need a nine year old level game. He's put that information here on these various games. So he's done that work for you. And he's put the educate, they've put the educational value here as well. So you know, you know, oh, I'm going to choose this game because this is a really great uh, game to deal with math equations, addition, subtraction, multiplication of these couple of numbers, right? So they've put this information here so you can have a better target for it. Um, and then there's some really neat art ideas to go with games as well. Just drawing. Um, There's some how to design your own game, like if you were going to design your own print and play game, uh, with with some extra things there. So lots of stuff throughout the summer. If you follow all the members of the Game School Co-op, which I highly recommend that you do, they're all fantastic. Um, then you'll see there'll be lots of other uh, information about what we're playing this summer and how we're doing our game school summer and, and how we, we all are doing our game school summer. There's going to be some giveaways from some really awesome publishers. So it's pretty, it's pretty darn exciting. We're so thrilled to be part yeah, of this group. It's fresh off of our, what, what are you doing this summer episode? And now you're into this and you say, well, maybe this is something you that might might interest you. So we're, we're really encouraging you guys to head out there and take a look at the page and see if you want to produce, you know, you know, participate in this great experience. That's right. Be- and if you do, you can follow the Game School Co-op mm-hmm. on social media. They're on, we're on Facebook. There's Instagram. There's Twitter. Um, if you are coming along with us on this Game School Summer journey, you can use the Game School Summer hashtag. So uh, really check it all out because there's a lot of great resources here. And Everyone in this group, I guarantee you, any of these folks that you follow that are in the co-op, they're all here to just be helpful and to increase a family's love of playing games and getting educational value through games. Uh, They're the nicest group of people. So if you have questions for any of these creators, reach out to them um, because, you know, everybody is just really genuinely here to help. We can, we can say that honestly. So we hope you love it. Uh, let's, so let's kick off game school summer. Summer, summer, summer game schooling co-op. <laughs> <laughs> you left me. <laughs> the text Ryan and apologize. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us today and making us a part of your homeschool journey. Please engage with us on social media. Join our Homeschool Together podcast group on Facebook and find us at Homeschool Together podcast on Instagram. We'd love to hear your feedback, questions, and recommendations. Until next time. Happy homeschooling!